Mr. Cardwell's booked solid today. You'll have to make another appointment. But, uh, I'm his goddaughter. We're close. Hi, Mr. Cardwell. Your goddaughter's here. Meredith Gallagher. He'll see you now. Really? I mean, <laughs> of course he will. Give us one minute. Thank you, Caroline. Welcome to Central News for Monday 7th of February, I'm Amy Pollard. In today's news, children and those young at heart from all over the Waikato arrived at the Hamilton Lake today for the opportunity to snap up a picture with the William Webb Ellis Cup. I spoke with Waikato Rugby Union Rugby Development Manager Kent Curry, who said this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for all. Um, this is a really great opportunity for, for Waikato kids. Hey kids and welcome to Mishmash TV with Ken and Amy. It's a brand new week and uh, we were saying that we're going to go to Rainbow's End but I don't think it looks like we're anywhere near Rainbow's End at the moment. In fact we're just outside Tahona which is near Morrinsville in the Waikato area. Mm, so there's some beautiful rural uh, rolling hills behind us but uh, no adventure theme park rides. I know apparently the weather up in Auckland this week isn't going to be looking too hot mm. either but it's looking all right down here so hopefully we do take the weather with us Amy. That's right so we are just soaking up the rural air before we get up to the big city of Auckland and uh, we're going to go check out Rainbow's Inn. I cannot wait it's going to be heaps of fun. Even if you are one of our most frequent flyers, please listen to this safety briefing. Uh, this plane's going <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> That's Luke. right. This is yet another awesome place that you can stay at. At this awesome hotel, you can fly away to your dreams every night. Boom boom. <laughs> change if you won 10 million this Thursday. Powerball, the power to change it all. Grab an entry in store or buy online. 